So that blue haired chap with you is called Eric, is he? Well, he looks like he knows how to handle himself. You could have picked the worst traveling companion, that's for certain. Now tell me something, have you heard of pet powers? They're special attacks that you can only unleash with the help of your companions. Yeah, I know all about the power of pep. Basically, they're what happens when spells and abilities are mixed together in various combinations. And believe me, they're well worth learning, heh <laughs> I can see I've piqued your interest. Yes, go on about the power of pep. Alright, let me think. Ah, of course. I've got just the one for you to try. I'm pretty sure that if you and your friend Eric put your minds to it, you'll be able to master a little cracker known as the real decoy. Wait, don't we already know that one? All you need to do is team up and try it out on some hapless monster. You'll soon see how incredible it is. Well, what do you say? Fancy giving it a try? We already know that power. Whatever. <laughs> the warrior wants you to defeat a monster with Eric using the real decoy pet power. You've been asked to undertake a quest. Ugh, a quest. Will you? Will you do it? Yes. That's the spirit. But just one word of warning: this pet power won't work unless the people performing it are pepped up. I already know this. And what does that mean? I hear you ask. I did not ask that. Well, is when you're in battle and monsters are attacking you, and suddenly you find that you're fully focused and ready for anything. That should be enough to get you there, I'm sure. Now stop listening to me waffling on about stuff that you already know, and try it. Once you've taken out the monster with the real decoy, come back and let me know. It takes two to tangle quest. Okay. It's an easy enough thing to do, so I'm gonna do it. But I already know about the power of pep. The game already taught me this. I already used the power of pep. I already used the real decoy. But whatever. This time it's a quest and I'll get something out of it for using it. So whatever. Alright platypus, let's go. Or are you the punkapus? Wh whatever he is. Oh right, first we have to get pumped up pepped up. This is actually a really good spot to train because not too far off there's a place where I can rest for free. The uh, church where the nun is that helped us. So this is a great spot to train. Come on. I need some pep in my step already. Will you put some pep in my step? Hey there, Pep Man. So, I wanted to do this quest like right away, but I couldn't because I couldn't get myself pepped up. I couldn't get pep in my step. So, I'll I'll be back. I'll I'll be back. Just you wait and see. Just going to go off, try to do the main quest, you know. Uh your people can call my people and then there'll be people and um I'll be back. So, yeah. <laughs> He tries to read the sign, but he's standing on the wrong side of it. <laughs> you can't just read signs from any direction. Up oh, to the mango grove I go. What's this sign all about? The mango grove. Okay. <laughs> the mango grove. Woo. Who's that dude? A merchant? It's your lucky day. I'm a traveling salesman. And to celebrate us running into each other like this, I'm going to offer you some special discounts. Have a look. Welcome to my roving emporium. How may I serve you? Or how can I serve you? Alright, cool. Cool, cool. He has it all. He has... Okay, okay, cool. Swords, the boomerang... Oh, I want to get the boomerang, kind of. I don't have enough money, though. Okay, so I decided to get some medicinal herbs because you can never have too many medicinal herbs. I stand by that logic. <gasps> Eric is pepped up! Okay, Eric is pepped up. 
Okay, I'm pepped up. Okay, we're both pepped up. We can use pep powers. Okay, should I use pep powers or should I heal myself because my health is looking kind of low? Um, I'm gonna use pep powers. You know, it might have been smarter for me to use that on the other monster because that monster was about to die probably in one more hit. So I probably should use that pet power on this monster, the one that has full health. But it's whatever, we'll, we'll, we'll defeat this monster easy peasy. Easy peasy. Yeah, easy peasy. You defeated a monster using the real decoy. Head back to the soldier by the church in the hella Dorian foothills and tell him the good news. I will, but I'm not doing it right now. He's gonna have to wait. I wonder if there's gonna be a monster like after we make it all the way through this place. Is there gonna be a monster at the end? Like a boss monster? Like a, like a boss? Because I don't think I've fought, like, since I've started this, I don't think I've fought, like, not one boss. We're, like, I feel like we're overdue. We're, like, way overdue to encounter a boss. Yeah, it's like I'm getting skill points, we're leveling up, I have a person in my party. We're way overdue to encounter a boss. <gasps> okay, well he appeared out of nowhere. I was just gonna book it and run to the end of this place. But this bubble slime would beg to differ. He, he he didn't like my plan of just running ahead. Another one bites the dust. All right, I'm out of here. I'm okay. Okay then. Eric is poisoned. You know, I kept saying you can never have too many medicinal herbs. Um, I should have got some antidotes. That was the only antidote. I d do I have any more antidotes? No. I don't have any more antidotes. Oh no. I don't have any more antidotes. Oh man. Oh wait, 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 wait. I have five antidotes. Okay, I'm good, I'm good. Hopefully this, these five antidotes will be enough. Okay. And there's a campsite right there. Okay, we're fine. We're good. We're golden. We're Gucci. We're 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 all the above. Look at that. A campsite. And <laughs> just when we needed one. Still a fair way to cobblestone. Let's rest up for the night. I like the cut of your jib. Yes, let's let's rest up for the night. That's a that's a good idea. I still can't get over old Dirk. He didn't just go straight, married, shop in the best part of town. He went straighter than straight. Just like that. We used to be thick as thieves. <laughs> Literally. We'd travel the world, always on the hunt for loot. Ah, those were the days. I'm just really happy that he didn't betray you. Oh. Speaking of which, I just thought of something we acquired back then that might come in handy. Yeah, I've decided. I'm giving it to you. You'll love it. We sure did when we got our hands on it. W what are you giving me? A present? Behold, the Fun Size Forge. 
Pop a few raw materials on top, bash them with the porta pounder, and bops your uncle. New equipment. Oh, cool! Neato! We can make stuff if we have the material. And I'm not just talking steel swords and the like. Wooden boomerangs, a natty new jerkin. You name it, this thing can make it. Sweating over a hot forge was never exactly my style. But I have a feeling you'll get more use out of it than I ever did. The perspective made it look really small, and now it looks really big. You can't just go smashing stuff together willy-nilly, though. You'll need the recipe for the piece of equipment you want to make. Here's a little something to get you started. You should strike while the iron's hot. Aww! Key receives a tome entitled Forging Ahead with the Fun Sides Forge, a beginner's guide. Aww, how nice. Key learns how to make bronze swords. Key learns how to make divine daggers. There are recipes hidden all over the place. It, treasure chests and bookshelves are always a good bet. Keep an eye out and you're sure to find some beauties. Well, originally, I wasn't going to check bookshelves. I only checked it at one time when I was looking for a book to complete a quest. But now that you're saying I should check bookshelves for the sake of finding recipes so that I can make stuff, I think I'll go back to checking bookshelves. Seems worth it. Here, let me give you some of the ingredients you need for those recipes I gave you. Maybe you could try forging yourself a weapon or something. Right now? Wow, so soon. Okay. The Fun Sides Forge. You can use the Fun Sides Forge to craft all kinds of equipment based on recipes that make use of the raw materials you collect on your adventures. New recipes can be found in treasure chests and on bookshelves, and you'll be able to acquire the ingredients you need by defeating monsters or investigating sparkly spots. Go ahead and try to make your first masterpiece with the recipe Eric just gave you. Alright, uh, I'll forge a weapon? A sword? Oh, or a knife. Hmm. Oh, I don't have enough copper ore. No, wait, yes I do, yes I do, yes I do. Okay, I can make a divine dagger. <gasps> Plus 14. Okay, his attack would go up if I made that dagger. Or I could make a sword. Again, his attack would go up. My attack would go up. Okay. Yes, I'm making a bronze sword. Oh, there's more to this. Okay. Fun sides forge fent fundamentals. <laughs> Smithing items could be simpler. Select bash to start beating your ingredients into shape and finish when you're ready to wrap things up. Hammer away at each individual area with your porta pounder to fill up the blue gauge next to it and aim to get every gauge into the green zone. See the traveler's tips for more information. Okay, all right, so there's actually more to it. Okay, I, I can, okay, okay, all right, I can do this. I can do this. Uh, I hit bash. Oh, I have to hit it again? Huh? Oh, I get it. Okay. Okay. I, I get it. I get it. I thought that I was going to have to... I thought it was going to be moving. And I was going to have to like hit X at the right time to stop it to hit the green. But that's not how this is at all. It's more like... Okay, I hit bash. Now if I hit bash again, it's going to go past the green and it's going to mess the sword up. So I'm going to go to the third one. I need to hit it once more. Okay, if I hit it again, it's gonna mess the sword up. So I just have to click finish and I should be good.
Easy peasy breezy. Yeah, thumbs up, yeah. Two perfectionist pearls. Reworking equipment. There's a lot of learning today. A lot of stuff I'm learning today. You'll receive perfectionist pearls each time you successfully forge a piece of equipment. You can use these to attempt to rework the item with the aim of doing an even better job. Don't worry about ruining your hard won, your hard won works of art. Even if you fail to rework something, you won't lose it. And if you succeed, you'll come away with something truly special. Alright, cool. Okay, uh, should I forge anything else? You know what? Mm. I will forge the Divine Dagger. So I can give that to Eric. Yay! I didn't mess it up. The secret is to not be greedy. You don't want to bash too much. Up and at em, champ! The sun's high in the sky already. Time for us to head to Cobblestone. <laughs>